You know, more than 8 million people were diagnosed with tuberculosis in 2023. According to the World Health Organization, it is likely replacing COVID-19 for being the world's leading cause of death from a single infectious agent. And while continuing on a downward trend, tuberculosis is a health problem in Houston. Joining us live with advice on preventing the illness, I'm talking with Chief Medical Officer for the City of Houston, Dr. David Purse. Good morning. Good morning, Amy. Thanks for having me back. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, just to start, because I, I was surprised reading this news. Tell people what is tuberculosis, and we call it TB often, and then how does it spread? Yeah, so, you know, TB is not new. We've been fighting it for centuries, quite honestly. Mm -hmm. And it is caused by a bacterium called Mycobacterium tuberculosis. It largely sort of sets up shop in your lungs, and it is easily spread, unfortunately, from one person to the next through those little, that mist that comes out of your mouth, particularly when you cough or sneeze, but even just singing or talking uh, will allow it to spread. And, and here's the thing, we think that for every one person who's infected over a course of a year, they could infect 10 to 15 other people just within one year. Wow, so then it, it does sound a lot like the same type of spread from COVID-19, like talking and, and basically it could um, become airborne, I guess. Um, yeah. What, are there people more susceptible to it than others. Yeah, so you know, so anybody can catch it. You mm -hmm. know, the, the spread of it is really pretty indiscriminate. So anybody can catch it if you're around somebody who has tuberculosis. Uh, we worry about those who've got chronic illnesses, particularly lung problems, of having, you know, risk for having the most severe consequences. But those are two different things I want to make sure the viewers understand. Is the risk of spread is very easy to pretty much anyone. Uh, and then the other thing, you know, tuberculosis is a really challenging illness because a lot of people who become infected don't get sick right away. Uh -huh. And so there is this inactive form of it where it sits dormant. Now, those folks generally don't spread it, but at some point, you know, years later, perhaps after they were exposed to it, they will develop. So they may not connect the dots that they were exposed to tuberculosis two, three, four, five, ten years ago. Mm -hmm. And now they're having the symptoms, which would make them think of it. And the, it generally sets up shock in your lungs. And it's going to make you cough, and it'll be a nagging, constant cough. If there's enough damage to your lung, you'll start coughing up blood. Uh, it can cause chest pain when you cough. It's going to have weight loss because you're going to have no appetite. And here's the other thing about tuberculosis. It's not just a disease of the lungs. It can affect pretty much any organ system, your kidneys, your intestines. But it's really severe when, you know, when it gets in your lungs because you can spread it. But it also can cause just terrible problems if it gets into your brain or your spinal cord. Yeah, and I guess why I was surprised when I said I was reading this news that, that um, you know, more people were getting it is, isn't it this on our general list of immunizations that kids get and that, you know, we sort of get when we see go to the doctor regularly? Yeah, so unfortunately, there's not a vaccine for tuberculosis. Oh. Um, there's, there is treatment, however, but there's mm -hmm. not a vaccine for it. So really prevention is a, 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 you know, awareness of who you're around and if somebody in your world family member or coworker, somebody, you know, tells you that they've got tuberculosis, that's when you may, you know, consider talking, no, you shouldn't make it, you should go talk to your doctor and consider what your options are at that point. Wow, and so if you notice that sort of nagging cough and that you go to the doctor, do you think physicians right now are at the point where they would test for that? I mean, normally when you go with a nagging cough, they're like, oh, cold, flu, COVID. Yeah. Yeah, and that's a problem because the early symptoms, and you know, we've talked about this before, there's so many illnesses that the early symptoms are pretty generic, right? Mm -hmm. Body aches, low-grade fever, cough, not feeling good, you know, and tuberculosis can be like that. But there are certain things. It's, it's the, you will often develop night sweats that other illnesses don't cause. If you're coughing up blood, we talked about. The loss of appetite, mm, you know, that can be a generic one as well. The exposure, the other thing is that if it doesn't go away, then your doctor's gonna start thinking about tuberculosis. And uh -huh. fortunately, it's easy to test for. There's two ways to get tested. One is a blood test and you go and they'll, they'll get you the results. And the other is a skin test. And the, the only challenge with the skin test, it's very good, but you get, the, you get a little bit of sample of antigen put under your skin and then three days later, you need to go back and have somebody read it, see if there's a uh, particular type of reaction to it. So oh. we've been doing that for decades as well. Both, both tests are really very accurate. And so then what should Houstonians do if they think, hey, I wanna get tested, I want more information. Is just your own doctor the best place to go or where could they head? Yeah, so pretty much any primary care physician is gonna be you know, knowledgeable about this because again, this is not a new problem. Uh, it's it's one that is taking over. Well, COVID's going down. That's one good piece of good news. Mm -hmm. But tuberculosis is really sort of regaining its role as the number one infectious agent that's causing death around the globe. So your doctors will be aware of it. 
The Houston Health Department does have a tuberculosis control program. Uh -huh. We've got them at two of our locations. Uh, one is the Northside Chest Clinic, the other is the Sunnyside Chest Clinic, and it is staffed by physicians who have special training and experience in taking care of patients with tuberculosis. These two clinics from the Houston Health Department are generally referred for patients who can't get care elsewhere because most of your health care plans and most clinics are be able to take care of you for this. Uh, one thing people should know is that the treatment is with medications, with pills, but it can take a long time because tuberculosis is very tenacious and it uh. digs in and it's hard to get to. So the, the course of medications can go for several months. But okay. we do have people that will, uh, for anybody, if you can't get treated anywhere else, you call the Houston Health Department at 832 393-5189, I'm sorry, 5169, or you can go to HoustonHealth.org. Okay. I want to make sure you get the right number there. All right, and we'll make sure we put this interview up online so people can catch that in case they missed it here. Dr. David Purse, thank you so much.